welcome in it's a beautiful sunny morning this morning and I am just getting ready to go uh, just finished my uh, pre-trip did all my paperwork up now I'm ready to roll going to go to uh, Dryden Ontario we'll pick up a load up there and go to Jackson Missouri so that's gonna be a nice run I'm just turning I just turned on my dash cam up there at the dash cam up there I use a different uh, camera to record my shows with you know but uh, the GoPro doesn't seem to do a good job in and uh, staying on recording uh, it, it seems to get hot once uh, once I leave it on usually after about half an hour 45 minutes it's uh, too hot it will turn itself off so you can't really use the dash cam, the GoPro Hero 3 for a dash cam so anyways I'm all ready to go got the seat belt on did my seat uh, did my pre-trip inspection still here in the penner yard but uh, yeah so here we go putting her in gear and finally making some money after a four-day holiday I guess you could say been off for uh, for four days <clears throat> I was going to go out yesterday, but they didn't have anything, so well, that's okay. I figure since it's Thanksgiving, a uh, long weekend up here in Canada, I would take uh, take off. I was uh, I was home Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then I was going to go out Monday, but they didn't have that load, so like I said, so uh, ended up staying home an extra day, which was okay too because. Uh, this weekend my daughter was able to uh, come home and uh, so I got to uh, spend a little extra time with her so that's always good help the wife and everything clean up the yard and a little bit get everything ready for winter took uh, my pressure washer downstairs so in the basement so uh, Grand Street, doesn't freeze up in the, in the garage I have it sitting in the garage what happens is because in the pump there's always a little bit of water in there and it will freeze and you know ice expands when it freezes eh? so it will crack my pump if uh, if I don't take it into a warm place so uh, or you can drain the water I suppose but yeah, it's less work for me just taking it into the basement and I have more room in the garage so I can put my snow blower in there I haven't done that yet but I figure yeah, it's not snow yet so we'll wait we'll wait a little bit with that but uh, Anyways, we'll see what the day will bring us today. Should be uh, should be interesting day today. I'm gonna go across uh, International Falls border into Minnesota. I know I've filmed that before, but uh, yeah, some of you may not have seen that yet. So maybe we'll try and film it again. But uh, anyways, we'll see you down the road. Turn left on Just finished. Uh, just finished uh, picking up my uh, preloaded trailer here in Dryden, in Ontario and uh, on my way to Jackson, Missouri I should be able to make it uh, close to Minneapolis I think tonight we'll see we'll see how far we get but uh, yeah so that should be should be okay if I can make it up there I should be able to make it very close to Jackson, Missouri tomorrow night so uh, then we'll be ready there for, well, what is it, today is Tuesday, so should be ready there till Thursday, should be ready there Thursday morning delivery, and then we'll see where we go from there, right, but uh, this is always a rough stretch of road, but uh, oh well. I am just coming into Fort Francis right now. And just have a look here on the left we got a little uh, bit of a river and right across on the other side of the river is Minnesota yeah that's it that's the United States of America on this side you got Canada and on the other side is the United States of America but, uh, yeah, it's beautiful up here we got a little bit of a ship up here I've never seen a ship move, but, uh, 
Victoria Avenue. Yeah. Right here on the left, you can see it right here. I guess they're keeping it here for a museum or something. Must be a super old ship, I imagine. But just take a look at these beautiful colors you see down here. It's beautiful. Beautiful time of the year, fall, right? But uh, yeah, so we're coming up to the border here in a couple of minutes, so uh, I'll be back in a minute. Well, here we go. Oh my, it looks like there is a long line up there today at the border. Which normally doesn't happen up here. I've never had a long lineup up here. I mean, it's not a super, super long lineup, but got a few trucks ahead of me there. It looks like we're going to be stopping on the bridge here. It looks like, as you can probably see right now, this is the way we cross the border, and this is actually a railway track as well. This is how we cross the border into Minnesota. It's called International Falls, Minnesota. For those of you that don't uh, don't know this area or never seen this, I had this uh, on one of my earlier videos one time before too. But uh, yeah, I just figured I film this again. Some of the newer subscribers that haven't checked out all the videos, always something interesting for the new subscribers. And talking about the new subscribers, I have hit over 100 subscribers right now and I want to thank all of you for subscribing to my channel uh, that means a lot to me uh, I never thought I would hit 100 yet not this quickly at In least 1,000 feet turn right on 2nd Avenue US 53 and then turn right in 750 feet I am actually very surprised to have hit 100 subscribers this quickly that's uh, Something I never thought it would happen so quickly. And uh, so that just goes to show that you guys are enjoying my videos. At least that's what's telling me. But uh, any of this, uh, I'm just going to cut this here right now. That way I don't get myself in trouble from the border. So we'll see you on the other side of the border. Okay, here we go. Just had me a quick pit stop up here in uh, Cook, Minnesota. At the uh, McDonald's, they got a, uh, I think about five parking spots up there for trucks. So I uh, usually like to go up here and <clears throat> take a bit of a break, you know. And uh, yeah, it's starting to get a little darker, but should still be able to make it up there by superior area so we'll see how much further we will go but uh, certainly going to try and make it up to superior another 70 miles up to superior another hour and 15 minutes that yeah, should be all right but uh, anyways we'll see what uh, what we get from here to there well here i am at a rest area it's about 8.30 at night right now. I got the uh, whole rest area for myself. As you can see, nobody up there. Nobody up there. Looks like I'm solo up here today. But I don't mind. It gives me the freedom to film, right? That way I feel more comfortable in front of the camera, right? But, yeah, well, I'm starting to get comfortable in front of the camera anyways. But... Uh, yeah, so it's been a good day. I uh, didn't quite get all the way to Minneapolis like I wanted to, but that's all right. I only have to be there uh, not tomorrow, the day after tomorrow in the morning. Or don't have to be there in the morning as long as I get there the day after. That's all it says on the satellite. So, uh, but anyways, uh, I'm going to call it a day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like button. And if you don't mind sharing the video. I would appreciate it. Thank you very much and see you tomorrow at 5 a.m.